Okay, Gagoku should be fine. He has super attack. Holy smokes, 110? Oh, we're gonna die. Into Vegeta will take like 200k per normal. Oh my god, what is this? Cyclopean God? A few moments later. Uh, please dodge, Vegito. There's no way you'd let me down for a second time, right? 20 minutes later. Okay. At least we've made it to the Age of Cooler phase. Uh, Vegito... He should be good. I'm thinking like 150 per normal. Please dodge. Please dodge. No, no, wait. No, 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 no. No, wait, no, no! Day two. Yeah, I was, I was so gassed. I was like, woo wee! I was like, okay, this, we got very, very lucky. Right, guys, welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, I got absolutely smoked yesterday by this guy right here, this Cyclopean guard. He just completely smoked me in all my three runs. Uh, and then, like, in my final run, I got smoked by the AGL motor cooler. So, today we'll be no iteming the ultimate red zone wicked bloodline. This is stage four up against motor cooler, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a two-phase fight. In this first phase, we're going up against this Cyclopean Guard, I think it's what it's called. And the second phase is up against AGL Metal Cooler. Now, I would actually say that these two um, fights, right, the Stage 3 and Stage 4, do feel like uh, quite a lot weaker than um, Omega, Broly, Bojack, right? But, like, this Cyclopean Guard is tr very, very troublesome. He can just be very annoying. And it, the reason for that is because as well as his, like, high damage reduction. So, if you guys aren't aware, all bosses at this point in the game... Hi. Wait, hi. All bosses in the game have a certain amount of damage reduction. Now, this guy also gets additional damage reduction on top of it, right? I believe he gets 60% as his base, and then he gets an additional 50% against every single typing, barring STR, right? Which makes sense. So, ideally, like, if you're not running, uh, like, an STR unit, then even, like, as you guys will see here in a minute, the 17th anniversary LRs, even they don't do that much damage, right? That's not really that much at all. And that's like a 90% uh, Super Saiyan for Goku and Super Saiyan for Vegeta. Um, now, originally, I, I was actually trying this with um, the, the... I think it was the Vegeta and Trunks team. I, I put Intel and Vegeta on the team just because I was getting really greedy. I wanted the heal, right? The turn 6 heal is still pretty valuable. And remember, Int Vegeta can handle himself in a lot of these red zone stages, right? But as you guys will see in a second... We didn't get the best opening rotations, right? Ideally, when you're running, like, two gods and the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, or it's vice versa, you want, like, each of them kind of spread out amongst the rotation, but we got, like, all three of them on turn one. So my goal here, it was just to keep PyCon on rotation, because the next time we see him, we'd have the possibility of proccing or activating his um, active skill, which is, you know, the Ghost Usher, which is very, very important. It's very important as well that you always grab a Rainbow Key Sphere with PyCon, because he's just not good enough defensively nowadays uh, with his raw defense, so you definitely want him dodging. And the support is really useful as well. But this is, this is, he, he'll see you in a second. So we got very lucky with this. We were dead to rights if we'd taken that. Look at that damage, 240k, just way too much. Uh, now, we got very lucky as well because you can apply debuffs to this Cyclopean Guard. So, I believe actually we lowered his attack or greatly lowered his, lowered his attack. I think it's greatly lowering of attack. And you can see the damage, we're still taking a lot. And we end up on a very low amount of health, but we live, we live. Remember Tech God Goku... And the El Gojiri unit will actually have far better defense than PyCon. So, in essence, they can actually take those hits. I'm just double checking. It is, yeah. So, the unit super attack, PyCon, greatly lowers attack. And it's the same for the regular super attack. So, that was pretty good stuff. That greatly lowering attack, essentially a 50% debuff, helped out quite a lot. I mean, we got those dodges, but I was sure that we would have been fine. We probably could have eaten those very easily. Um, Piccolo as well. Like, I can't wait until we get, like, orange Piccolo. Uh, Piccolo will be absolutely cooking. I was really hoping that we could get some same type key spheres as well for healing. Uh, I, I was I was just thinking, yeah, does like Piccolo have shocking speed? But no, he doesn't. I was like, okay, we can try and take advantage of the Goku and Vegeta and Piccolo sharing those two key links. But I think it's best to just try to keep the gods on main rotation, right? Because they are going to be the key in that final phase. And you guys will see, we just completely smoke cooler in the end. Uh, by the way, this Piccolo is very good. Uh, he probably wouldn't live a super attack from the Cyclopean Guard. Or maybe he would, actually. It's tough. It's actually touch and go because he's actually very good defensively. I would not be surprised if he ate this for like 10, 15k. But the the secret or like we get lucky because we get no, we don't take any super attacks in this particular turn, right? We we get away relatively scot-free. In fact, I'm actually just 
as I'm saying this, I'm trying to pull up the stats of this Cyclopean card. So yeah, his HP is 18 million, attack value is 300,000, so it is fairly high. He does 10 attacks per turn, but this is what I mean. He gets 60% damage reduction, and then he reduces damage received by 50% from all types except for STR. And then his SA damage is 750,000. So all that is like, you know, it's, it's pretty solid in terms of his stats. But the main, uh, another kicker for the Cyclopean Guard is that he can lower attack and defense by 20% for three turns, which is so, so annoying. Uh, I remember actually one of my runs yesterday. In fact, I may even just throw one of the clips at the start of the, at the start of the video. He actually super attacks my guards and they start taking an insane amount of damage with their guard activated. I think it was like 30, 40 K per normal. And that was after their two stacks. But yeah, this is where we get very lucky. We just turn four into PyCon and then go in, you know, go from guards to blue and then pop their active as well. ここ、ジタクソンタレが。Okay, so that was pretty good, and this is why PyCon is actually so goated. I feel like PyCon just got a got a resurgence all of a sudden, but this allows us just to get a free turn of damage. God Goku is very good, but there is no way I think that he can eat a 1.2 million damage shot. Actually, could he? He might be able to because I know Broly has a 1.3 million damage shot, and God Goku is relatively like he's eaten that for like double. Okay, maybe not double digits, but like 20 or 30k at times. So it's possible that he could have eaten the super attack, but before super attacking, I'm not too sure. Uh, and you got, you'll find out in a second, actually, that uh, Cooler does indeed super attack in slot 1 before uh, the slot 1 unit would have had the opportunity to attack. So we were we were very lucky with how everything timed out. I know we're very low on health as well, but uh, we're just lucky in the way that we were able to then proc the God's active skill. They are performing crits this entire turn. They have type advantage. And yeah, this is why I just love the gods a lot more than the Super Saiyan Force, right? Because of the guaranteed additional super attack. And oftentimes what you find is because of that guaranteed additional, they then oftentimes will launch that third attack. And, you know, as you guys are aware, when you launch uh, an additional through the adventure system, you have a 50% chance for it to be a super attack and a 50% chance for it to be a uh, normal attack. So we've seen the active skill already. We've seen the transformation. I just thought we'd go ahead and skip the animation. Of course, the friend doing a ludicrous amount of damage, got more stacks off um, as well as just as well as a friend being rainbowed. So this was tricky. Um, I was panicking. I didn't really know where to put who to put where. Again, Piccolo is very good, but on the basis that he ate the base cooler, um, he ate like, so basically stage two when you go up against final form cooler, he ate, he ate the base form cooler SA for about, I think it was 180, 200. So we, wouldn't, we would not have survived if we put Piccolo into uh, slot one there. And Piccolo is actually very useful as well here because of his support. Yeah, I was, I was so gassed. I was like, woo wee! I was like, okay, this, we got very, very lucky that we were able to dodge that SA. And yeah, we just let the gods cook. I mean, the gods finish it up, finish it, finish this stage off themselves. Again, they just do way too much damage. It's absurd. Like, it's, it's so crazy how good the gods are still. And I'm kind of flirting. Like, you know, I've seen a lot of cooler showcases. I understand cooler is very good. I understand on any given turn, he can have the highest amount of APT in the game. At the end of the day, his additionals have a 30% chance of being a super attack. Right, and his defensive power also comes from that. I mean, I was just still flabbergasted, and I was just going crazy on the fact that we literally on what was it like turn two or turn three had like twenty thousand health, and we ended the fight with like a ten percent of our health left. Again, like that's never happened to me. We cleared this in four turns as well, uh, all thanks to the gods. But I mean, you know, Piccolo was there offering support. God Goku 
uh, creating the orbs, right, with his rainbow orb changing. So, yeah, um, pretty good stuff. Uh, I'm waiting for the next few stages. I wonder who the next few stages will be, though, right? Because what other Wicked Bloodline enemies could they give us? I suppose they could give us one where we go up against, like, all of, all of the Wicked Bloodline, like, clan members, right? Remember, we start off with King Cold, Freezer, uh, Cooler, then maybe, like, Metal Cooler, and then, like, Golden Freezer. I mean, that could be interesting. I mean, Golden Freezer actually has not been a boss yet, has he? No, he's not. So maybe that would be the next boss. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I just go ahead and go through Link levels. I don't really think there's much else for me to say. Maybe I wasn't, this wasn't the most, like, informative video in the sense that I wasn't really giving you guys many tips, but it's just try to put units into particular rotations. I mean, I would have, I think we would have been fine anyway, even if we had to go one more turn, because we still have Gogeta coming up, his active skill. Uh, and remember, Gogeta has a 50% chance to counter the SA as well. So, sorry, counter the SA. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Any questions, then drop them down in the comments below. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.